I describe my art practice as psychedelic paint pours, using fluid acrylic paint to cover sculptures and canvases with bold cellular colour. The theory motivating my practice derives from the ecological study of the mycelium. My work provokes a sociological issue surrounding humans' blind dependency on natural resources and the internet. And I want to challenge the audience to think about their own negative impacts on themselves and the environment using the example of the mycelium. This semester I began by exploring my fascination with mushrooms and fungi. After research I came across the idea of the mycelium, leading me to explore interconnectivity and the psychedelic. Bouncing off of the works of Hamish Perch and Shauna Gavin mushroom series and I create my own connection with mushrooms. Naturally, my process using fluid acrylic painting evolved around this narrative. As space is a limiting factor, I decided to make my work 3D. Ideally, in a gallery setting, I would like to pour directly onto the sculpture in the space that it will be displayed, so that the paint can flow and fit perfectly into the space, with room for visitors to walk all the way around and see it from every perspective. And with the addition of sculpture into my work, I've been able to explore with many different new materials, such as chicken wire, mod rock, plaster. I also experimented with various processes, such as sand casting and woodwork. I eventually led to sand casting with plaster, I used natural materials at the beginning to make the impressions in the sand, and after being unsatisfied with the lack of detail that was present in the sand casting, I started to cast impressions of my own hands, as I did in fact like the texture created from sand casting, and I was questioning my connection with the mycelium, I decided to use my own body. I found hands to be really expressive, due to the nature of sand casting, the imperfections created a far more natural feel, which is perfect for helping the paint stick to the surface area. Sculpture and form are a huge factor in the design process of all of my artworks. Throughout the semester, I have used nature as my reference, and my only role in creating the artworks is choosing the colour palette and making the sculpture. Once I pour my paint over the sculpture, I remove myself from the equation and I let gravity do all the work. My only intervention when it does come to the paint is choosing in which order to layer the paint onto the canvas. I have moved away from natural colours and into a more psychedelic colour palette as I reach into the connection between humans and mushrooms. Some humans eat mushrooms to get high and feel euphoric and closer to nature, and there are a lot of parallels between the way that humans and ecosystems connect together. The mycelium and the internet, for example, behave almost identically. There are even crimes committed in the mycelium, just like there are in the, in the human world. There are also significant differences. Humans produce a lot of waste, whereas systems in nature like the mycelium do not. I hope my work provokes the thought that humans should reflect on their wasteful actions. I have almost totally moved away from my square canvases that I was using before. I realised the fluidity of my painting wasn't being translated when I was painting this way, especially in my finished artworks, allowing the free flowing of my painting medium, where my artwork is more fluid, has exponentially improved the translation of ideas between the spectator and my work. And through this translation, I have been able to explore my own relationship to the mycelium. I saw an opportunity to spread a message about how human consumption is ruining each other and the planet. As human beings, we are all connected to each other, especially through the internet. Much like the museum connects an entire ecosystem, yet our connection and the mycelium are completely different. Throughout my practice, I have been answering questions such as, what is the mycelium? How do I relate to the mycelium? How do humans relate to the mycelium? And is the internet our imperfect version of the mycelium? Simply being more conscious of ourselves is a first step into becoming a more connected society.